Just like your mother. It takes more only at Toys R Us. I want to be a Toys R Us. Yourself. You don't have to think about it. You don't have to talk in that language. You have to learn light show only on YouTube. Hey again, everybody. Welcome back to the channel for another short video on our Mark 7 GTI today. And it's going to be a quick one today. I thought about putting this video into two parts, but I think I want to make a dedicated install for the video next week, which is going to be the Eurosport rear cross brace for the hatch. So that will be coming out next week because it's going to be a little bit more involved. And I didn't want this to get lost because I like to document everything I do to the cars. So you guys know, and I can always go back and look at things in the future. So today we are going to be finalizing the setup for the rear sway bar. Yes, I still have one more thing to do. Actually about two more things to do. I, I wanna get some new end links, but that's gonna be a whole another thing because I'm just gonna stick with OEM stuff. But we needed to do the sway bar brackets in the rear with some upgraded bushings and some brackets essentially that are really cool. So let me show you guys what I got. I picked these up from ECS Tuning. They are their sway bar bracket kit. You can pick all different size, uh, bushings these are the 25 millimeter ones to match my rear sway bar and the brackets are super beefy really nice design and they also come with a little nozzle on the top so you can uh, grease your bushings without having to take everything off which is really nice because i have to take it all off on the miata when i do it i'm sure a lot of companies have this but this is the first time i'm seeing it pretty cool it goes right through your bracket through your bushing and inside of where your sway bar is. It's got little channels in there so it can spread out all around. Really cool little design. I, I was surprised to see it. Also comes with the new hardware, which is I think extended so we can fit everything better. But we're gonna jack up the rear of the car, get underneath, and we'll have our ECS tuning sway bar bracket with our 25 millimeter Eibach and our rear subframe brace all mounted up. So it should feel really good once all this is done, so let's go ahead and get started. Sway bar brackets and bushings are on. Easy to fit, just had to pry back the sway bar a little bit to get the new bushings in, but otherwise everything went smoothly. So now we have, like I said, our iBox sway bar, ECS tuning sway bar brackets with the new bushings and our ECS tuning rear subframe brace. So all of both sides, everything is solid. It should really help the rear end of the car feel as good as it can be. So really happy with this new upgrade and, and it should last a little bit longer. So we ended up just replacing these guys essentially and uh, some new ECS units. There's the rest of the bracing down there, including our eye sweep. So one more thing to go down here and then we should be go good. <clears throat> and then we should be good to go as far as bracing the underbody goes. And that is gonna be it for this video. Super short, super simple. Just wanted to get this modification out of the way before we dive into the Eurosport uh, cross brace, which is going to be next week's video. So be sure you go down below and subscribe and hit that bell so you don't miss it. Again, these are the ECS tuning sway bar brackets with their subframe brace and iBox sway bar. In case anyone's wondering, that is what I'm currently running on the rear end of the GTI. So thanks so much guys. See you next week. Make sure you give this video a thumbs up. Leave your comments below and I will see you in the next video.